19 years old and he had a he had an uncle that was somewhere back east as well and he wanted to see Canada. Packed up with another band and he went up into the caribou country and around and by fall they were back into Berlin and went out to uh, Babel Lake and uh, took up some land. And that was the start of his uh, farming in the Maple Lake country. And then there was six boys all in a row after that. Was the sixth one, I think? Me, oh, I me Ben, George, Bob, Eddie, George, and Paul. Yeah. Six, six boys had all in a row. And actually seven. One, one died as a baby. And Annie, we only had one sister that was born on the place, and she was older than me. I can remember the first car that, that I seen was 1906. The best of it is, the first one that we saw that come out to Maple Lake, he was a surveyor, a land surveyor, you know, and, and, and he was out there doing some land surveying. And I remember him taking my sister for a drive up the road a little bit back in the car. Well, he didn't take all the boys, there's too many of us, but he did take an older sister for a little ride in the car. I, I don't think I, well, I know I never got past grade six in the school anyway. I think it went to grade eight, but I worked pretty well steady from the time I was 12 years old. I pretty well worked. At the last, we were getting homework on the weekend. Yeah. And uh, if you had three mistakes, you were looking for it. Oh. And it was three on each hand every time with a strap about that long. Oh, it's a quarter you. wide. <laughs> but nowadays, everybody lives in the city, and you, you go on the computer, you watch TV, you go to the movies, you, you know, drive around if you're a teenager, you do stuff like that. The kids don't know how lucky they are now. It was in February 1916 when D Company was uh, getting formed, and that, that took in from Kamloops to, to the border. They, they were recruiting, and uh, so my half-brother, he was older than me, 11 years older, we thought, well, if he's going to go, I'll go too. And that's soon, the day after we, we finished logging today and tomorrow we're both in the Army. I was pretty young when I realized he'd been in a war. He had his uniform yet at home. It's too bad we lost it, but uh, because of that, he had a lot of friends showed up and they'd sit and talk World War I. And this is between, you know, before we had World War II. So to me it was stuff that had happened um, 15, 20 years before. So I've always been interested in history myself, but that's part of it you hear about people being over in France and being in trenches and getting wounded and all the rest, whatever old soldiers talk about. And when you're a little kid not going to school yet, you, know, you soak that up pretty good. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was home. That was really nice to get back home. Yes, yeah, it was, uh, well, I couldn't explain it. it. It was so nice to be back again. You, that you, I never expected to ever come back, tell you the truth, you know. I, I didn't think I'd come back. When we talk to you, I see everybody's gone. No, no it's hard. Yeah. I'm, I'm just plain lucky. I think if I'd have been six months older, I'd have been gone too, but I was just at that age, and I was in the right place at the right time, and, and that's why I'm here today. So, I guess I was a lucky one, the lucky ones. I wanted to have my own farm, and that was a pretty hard thing to think about doing at that time, but... Well, anyway. it's been... It's been a good year, a little tough making hay, but then we're a little bit early. It's quite early. Yeah, yeah. so... Uh, quite early. Well, Uncle Duke here, he's 102 and I'm only 68, so I'm just started. 
So uh, All right, we both look. had a good time, haven't we? Yes, good. And I, I want him to get in here and, and get going because your time is important right now. And just start that engine up and get going, please. <laughs> The boss has said it. And thank you for the interference with us here. And that's all, all I can say. Okay. <laughs> nice meeting you. We'll hear from you again. Yeah. We work together. We play together. Uh, we got, well, we... We done dancing before we started square dancing, you know, it was just a down party and like that. We both danced at young age, both of us. Well, it was nice because you met, you went different places, you met all kinds of people and there's lots of variety in there. We weren't dancing long until we were taking extra classes, and oh, well, of course, that time we, we had moved to town already. Then, uh, soon after we started square dance, we moved into town. There are people that get lonely because they they hold back too much. They they stay on their own and, and you know they won't mix. But uh, you shouldn't be lonely if you can get around and do things. And a lot of people uh, will not get out and mix, you know, and and, and they, they they get lonely. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> there, there we are. How did you feel when you went skydiving? Well, you know, I thought I might be scared, but I wasn't. I wasn't. I had my mind made up I was going to do it, and, and you know, if you make up your mind you're going to do something, uh, you, you don't get scared. My name is William Duke Proctor. My birthday is August the 18th, 1899. I'm celebrating my 100th birthday. Duke Proctor, congratulations on your 100th birthday and your very first skydive. Have cool. fun! Bye! I tell you, that is something that you'll never forget if you take that ride. Well done. Yeah. Whoa. Everything okay? Yes, I'm okay. I, I don't hear very good yet. Come on over, Duke. Come on. Oh, God. That was hard. We made it, okay? I think almost anybody could learn uh, a lot of things from Duke because he, he just keeps so active doing everything and I think that's why he probably lives as long as he has. Good afternoon. How are you today? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry I took a wrong turn and we're a little bit late. So Better late than you. never, they say. Th that's what they say. Well, this uh, is on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth well, in her Golden Jubilee. Yes. And uh, this medal is given to uh, people who have served uh, their country and their citizens uh, well, as you have uh, over the years and uh, in commemoration uh, of her Golden Jubilee this year and uh, in special honor to uh, people uh, like you.